Hello, this is Vitri Wilder and today I'd like to show you how you can arrange words on a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper so you can go ahead and print it out and create a card using it. Um, I'm using Photoshop today and the first thing you need to do is just create a new um, page. So I have here an 8.5 by 11 at 300 resolution and click OK. If you don't have your rulers showing up here, you want to go ahead, go up into view and click on rulers. And what I like to do is create um, guidelines. So I'll put this at four and a quarter and five and a half. I also like to put um, a guideline at the quarter mark. My printer doesn't print all the way and so I need it's not a borderless printer and so I need to make sure that what I insert into my work area is not going to be chopped off basically so here it is and let me just open up Adobe Bridge and um, I have a few pieces of item and this is from the Digi Chicks by Carla Dudley. And let's just say um, I created this card previously and it looks more or less something like that. So let me just minimize this. And where is it? So I want to add this and just open. And you want to make sure that you have the move tool selected and just move this down here if you're printing and let's just say this is you know a sheet of paper once you trim and fold this is going to be the front of your um, card so you want to make sure that you place the wording or text or graphic on the right area so I'll put it here and then I'll select something else. I think I had this rounded piece and I'll just open this in Photoshop and insert this in and you can adjust the size and I just push option T I'm using a Mac. Oops. If you push shift It'll always be a perfect circle. Move it up and down. And if I move this a little bit, let me move this here a little bit. Here's my toolbar. And I have my layers here. And you can see that if you're working with any advanced graphic software, you'll have you'll be working with layers. So this is currently on top of the text. And I want to move this down and I want to change the opacity that way it's not overpowering just something really light there we go and let me grab something else and let's just say you want to have this going under let's just open that and arrange it and if you don't want this going over what you can do is just select the area that you want to keep and make sure that it's set to normal I had it on a fixed area from a previous project and just select the area make sure it's uh, layer 3 or where this text is selected and let's create a mask right there it's this little button down at the bottom where it says create vector mask if you want to do more um, I added some lines in there and what I did was I, I just used this brush tool and changed the diameter into whatever let's just try let's just try two and after you have that, 
we want to go into the brush palette somewhere here. And once you have the brush, you want to go into the, here we go, the brush tip shape. And you want to change the spacing. And one isn't big enough, or that one isn't big enough. So let's try this. Let's just undo everything. I just want a regular straight line. Okay, and then now I can go back to my drawing board and I can again push shift to make sure that I have a straight line and I can draw. Let's make sure I have a layer here. Let's create a new layer. Now let's just zoom in and that way we can see this better. And you can, you know, select the brush, make sure that's selected, and have a black um, ink there. And just push your shift, and you can create little lines. And since it's in its own layer, you can move this up and down and do whatever you need to do. There we go. You can add more, but once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and print and add other embellishments as you need it. All right, and thank you for watching.